Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over my favorite product of the year. And that is really not that hard. I have not bought the amount of makeup this year that I usually buy in a given year. I don't know if that's because I was kind of preemptively knowing that I was going to be renovating my house and knowing that this was just going to be an expensive year or if I was just less interested in makeup. I don't really know. But what I can tell you is that I didn't buy as much makeup, but I definitely do have favorites. Some of these favorites are going to be things that I like talked about last year, and some of these things are going to be brand new. Most of the things are brand new, but like for eyeshadow primer, mascara, things like that, they're still the same things that I loved last year. So the first thing that I want to talk about, what I'll do today is I will go in order of how I apply my makeup, and um, I'm not going to do swatches for you just because I feel like that's going to make too long of a video for you guys. So I'm just going to talk about the things that I love, why I love them, and we'll go from there. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Daniela. I'm a doctor that loves to review makeup. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find it useful, helpful, entertaining, any of those things. So without any further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that I put on in the morning when I'm putting on my makeup is my eye primer, and the eye primer that continues to be my favorite is the Milani Eye Primer. For quite a while, I was using the Ulta Eyeliner, but in the end, I feel like I do like my Milani Eye Primer better. You just need a small bit to put on each lid, but it really, really does cause your eyeshadow to like stick to your eyes, and I love, love, love that. The next thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is concealer. I have mentioned this concealer like a million times on this channel, but it is still my favorite, and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This tube is basically out. I'm gonna have to open a new one. There have been two concealers that over the last like four, five, six years have just been my favorite go-to concealers, and they are both Maybelline. One of them is Maybelline Fit Me, and one of them is the Maybelline Age Rewind. They are just the tried and true best concealers for me, and I have tried plenty of high-end concealers. This year, I tried the Kosas Concealer, I tried the uh, Clinique Concealer that I actually have right here, and I still liked my Drugstore Maybelline Fit Me Concealer the best. I felt like it had the best staying power. It's just the right, of emol right amount of emollients. I feel like the Kosas one is really, really good for somebody who's got dry skin, but for somebody who's got a little bit of an oily, oilier skin, I feel like the Maybelline Fit Me or even the Age Rewind are both better products. The Kosas really didn't stick around on my eyes for long enough, so high end and low end, I still love the Maybelline concealer the best. My two most used um, powders of the year, one of them I don't have anymore, but I'll throw a picture of it up in the screen, is the It Cosmetics Poreless Powder. I've been using this for years. I go through compact after compact after compact. What I'm trying to do is go through all the powders that I have and just use up what I have before I buy another one of those, which is why I don't have a backup. But I used that one up, and my second favorite powder that you will see that is new to me this year is the L'Oreal True Match. I think it's really interesting that so far all my favorites are from the drugstore. Go figure. Anyway, the L'Oreal True Match is a beautiful, beautifully textured powder. I really don't wear foundation that much. I'm not even going to have a foundation category for this year because I don't feel like I wore enough foundation this year. So what I was doing instead of foundation was I was just using a powder, and this actually comes with a little sponge. So if you want a little bit of a fuller coverage, you can use the sponge to apply it to your face and it'll give you a little bit more coverage. If you want less coverage, you can just use a powder brush, just dust it around your face. And this is what I've been using every day since I ran out of my um, It Cosmetics Poreless Powder and I really love it and I highly recommend it. I feel like this rivals high-end powders and I really can't say enough about it. The next step in my makeup routine is bronzer, and I have two favorite bronzers, one of which is a drugstore bronzer, and it is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Not only is it does it smell amazing like the beach, which is where I would like to be right now, but it also is just an amazing bronzer, and it comes in so many different colors. You can get it in uh, light, which is what this color is, and certainly if you have darker skin tones, you can get it in a darker shade to suit your skin tone. I think this is a beautiful bronzer. I think it does such a good job, and I've really, I use this the whole entire year until what I'm about to talk to you about until I bought this. So I was using the butter bronzer and then during the Sephora sale, I bought the Charlotte Tilbury um, Nude Gasm palette, which has four different colors. It has a contour shade, a bronzer shade, a blush shade, and a highlight shade, all of which I'm wearing on my face today. I just love this palette. It's so easy and I can't stop using it. I 
contour my nose and my cheeks with this. Then I bronze my forehead, my cheeks, and kind of my jaw. I use the blush, which is what I'm wearing. It just gives you a beautiful peach glow and a gorgeous goldy champagne highlighter. There are a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products that have been underwhelming to me. And then there are a few Charlotte Tilbury products that I actually love. And this is one of the Charlotte Tilbury products that I really, really love. I think it is a fantastic face palette. I'm not even really a face palette person, but this is an excellent one. So if you guys have any interest in this face palette, you must pick it up. It is absolutely fabulous. Okay, let's talk about blush. The most used blushes of this year, a little hair on my arm, are number one, my MAC blush in Blush Baby. I got this at like an Ulta sale, but it's just this perfectly mauve -y nude shade, which just goes with every eye look, and it's just so easy to use. Let me swatch it for you. You see, it's just a nice mauve -y shade. The next blush that I've used this year so, so, so much is this Can Make blush. I did a lot of talking about this early in the year, this brand. It's like a Korean skin brand and they have the most beautiful little blushes that are in this beautiful plastic packaging. And it's just really cute, but it's like a drugstore Korean br uh, like brand. And this, sh this shade is called, I'm gonna link it below because I can't remember what it's called. It is this gorgeous, peachy brown group of colors that is just like a nudie peach blush and it is absolutely gorgeous and I think this was like five dollars on Amazon you guys. So these two were probably my two most used blushes of the year. This MAC one and this Can Make one. So I will link this for you below. It's on Amazon. It's cheap. It's great. It's Korean skincare. I can't say enough about it. I absolutely love this blush. Okay, for highlighters, my favorite highlighters, I think I mentioned these two last year, continue to be my favorite highlighters. The first is this Clinique Lunar Pop. It's got the little flowers embossed on it and it's just got the most beautiful peachy gold shift to it. And then my second favorite one is Privilege from Nabla Cosmetics, also a gorgeous, peachy gold. They're very, very similar. I feel like Privilege has a tiny bit more peach in it, but they remain my two favorites for the year of 2021 as well. Remember, I was not wearing tons and tons of face makeup this year because over, I'm in an operating room 12 to 14 hours a day. And so most of the time I'm just wearing eye makeup and concealer. So I wasn't like, super interested in trying tons and tons of new blushes and highlighters this year just because I wasn't wearing them that much. But when I was wearing them, those were the ones that I was wearing. Okay, next I wanna talk about eyeliner. My favorite eyeliner of the year is this e.l.f. eyeliner. It is a $3 eyeliner. I wear dark brown. It has kind of a thicker, a thicker tip. It's not as thin as the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but I find it so easy to brush through my brows. It's got that perfect waxy consistency and it is so easy to use. It is absolute perfection at $3 a pop. I know it's made in China. I hope there's nothing toxic in it, but I absolutely love, love, love it. Okay, I have two sets of favorite eyeliners from this year and one set I've mentioned many years prior and that is my Smashbox um, Always Sharp Eye Pencils, which are just always sharp because they have a sharpener in the lid which automatically sharpens them every time you close the lid. It is so convenient. I like to tight line. This makes tight lining so, so easy. They are a little bit on the expensive side, so a less expensive option to those are the Sephora eyeliners, which are completely waterproof, budge proof. They're not quite as sharp at the top, but they are retractable pencils and they come in all different colors. I love the black, I love the brown. I'll link all the colors that I love below for you um, so that you can check them out and they're very, very inexpensive. So if you guys like a waterproof um, kind of thin lining eye pencil, either of these two is an absolute winner and have been full on staples for me this year. Love them. The best, best mascara of this year has not changed from last year. I alternate my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara with different primers. The primer that I have always loved is the Lancome CLIS or CILS Booster XL. L'Oreal makes a great um, primer as well if you don't want to spend Lancome prices. But this pair is so, 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 so fabulous for my upper lashes. Love it. Have loved it for years. 
can't find anything that I love quite as much as this. If you don't wanna spend money on Superhero, my backup favorite mascara is the Lash Paradise Mascara, which I really, it takes a little bit longer to build up on my upper lashes, but I really do love it, and I also love it for my lower lashes. The other lower lash mascara that I love is the Maybelline Colossal. So these two mascaras I love wearing on my lower lashes, and if I feel like I wanna spend the time to build it up, I really do like the Lash Paradise on my upper lashes, but Generally speaking, I don't have that much patience for that, and I use the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara for my lashes. My favorite, um, that's it for eyes, isn't it, you guys? That was so fast. I'll get to eyeshadows last, because there are kind of a lot of eyeshadows that I wanna talk to you about. So the next thing that I wanna put on my list of loves for this year are, number one, the Lisa J Lip Liners. These are the most fantastic lip liners. I love them so much. The shade that is my favorite is Warm Spice. It is the most gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous lip liner. And my favorite lipstick, which I believe is in my purse, is Acceptance. I have been wearing it nonstop. I love it so much. All of our lipsticks are beautiful and I've worn all four shades at some point in the several months that I've owned them. But I just think that the lip liner and the lipsticks are the most beautiful formula. They stay put, they're creamy, they're moisturizing, and I really cannot say enough about them. I love them. The other favorite lip products of this year are these Juicy Lips by Tarte. I recently bought four more because I have a problem and I just love them. And in terms of like glossy moisturizing balms, it doesn't get much better than this. They are so beautiful, so comfortable. They're like 19 bucks each. And I just think that the formula is out of this world, absolutely out of this world. My favorite lip gloss formula of the year is the Stay Glossy by Rimmel. You can get these at Walmart, they're like $4. They're so inexpensive, they're not cruelty free. I'm sorry to say to those of you who are um, only wearing cruelty free products, but if you don't mind the non-cruelty free products and you wanna try this, you will not be disappointed. I got it in this shade, I got it in Blushing Belgraves. I have so many of these shades, I love them. I think that the texture is absolutely beautiful. It's so comfortable. They're so easy to wear and the price is right. By the way, it even shocks me how many of my favorites this year are drugstore brands. It's really interesting. I'm looking at my like everyday makeup drawer. This is where I got my favorites from. The stuff that I put in my top drawer that I use every day that never leaves my drawer. That's how I know it's my favorite. So. These are the things that just like haven't left my drawer. And if they're not in my drawer, they're in my purse. So the Blushing Belgraves is in my purse right now. Um, and this one was in my drawer. These are just the most fantastic lip glosses. Okay, last but definitely not least, I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow products of the year. There are a lot of them because it is the one thing that I've worn consistently through the year and have enjoyed so, so much. The first ones that I wanna start with are the e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. These were new to me this year. They were so, so, so incredible. Like, I know these are made in China, but I have to say, I hope there's nothing toxic in them and I couldn't stand it. I had to buy them, even though they're made in China and I don't like buying eyeshadow palettes palettes that are made in China. I just really think that their performance is absolutely incredible. I have worn them so much. I got like five of the shades. I think that this rosy shade is one of the most gorgeous and you just cannot beat the price point. My next favorite eyeshadow palette is the Stone Cold Fox palette. This is a cool tone palette that I got in January of 2021. That has been another staple this year. I have used it so, so much. Again, another drugstore brand. Love ColourPop, love that palette. It has got every cool neutral tone that you could ever need and the shimmers are absolutely incredible in that palette. I just think it is the most useful, handy palette to have with you every day. And I would say that for the majority of the year, I used that palette if I didn't want to think about it. Um, and in a minute, I'm going to get to my, the last thing I'm going to discuss, stay tuned, is my most used, absolute favorite products for the eyes for the entire year. But that is going to be the very, very last thing I talk about. So anyway, second to those. Um, the cold, the Stone Cold Fox palette was a very well used and very well loved palette this year. I also want to talk about three palettes that I got at the end of the year that I have been 
highly, highly impressed by. You guys know if you've watched my hauls from the last couple of months that I bought quite a few palettes in the last few months at the Sephora sales. And you know, holiday time, beautiful, beautiful palettes come out, but three of them really stuck out to me as fantastic all around palettes. And the first one of those is the Pat McGrath Holiday Palette. I also got Utopian Dream. I actually like this holiday palette better. I think that the holiday palette has the most beautiful shade range of colors. It has a perfect number of mattes. The shimmers are gorgeous. It does not have any of the special glittery shades, but I am okay with that. To me, it actually makes this palette a little bit more useful on, on the daily. Like for me, I am not gonna wear glittery, the glittery shades that come in the um, black lacquered palettes. You know, I'm not gonna wear those glittery shades to work, but I could wear any of the shades in these, in this palette to the hospital and it would just look beautiful and shimmery and, you know, really sophisticated. So I think that while those super duper glittery astral shades are amazing, they're not wearable on a daily basis, whereas every shadow in this palette is. And so I have really, really enjoyed wearing this and I love it. If you can get your hands on it still, I recommend that you do. I also wanna give a shout out to the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I think this is takes number one for the most beautiful packaging of the year, no question. And I just think that the way that she did these shades is absolutely incredible. I'm not gonna belabor this point because I did so in a recent video, but the foils in here are amazing. The mattes are so easy to blend. I think that the color story is so inspirational. You just wanna pick this up and use it because it's just beautiful. So I can't recommend this palette enough. If you didn't try it and you are scared to wear pinks on your eyes, pick it up, line your eyes with a black, black eyeliner Use a black, black mascara and any pink shade will look amazing on your eyes. The same thing goes for the Natasha Denona Retro Palette, which has some of the most incredible shimmer shades that I have ever seen. This shimmer shade, this shimmer shade, this shimmer shade. Every shimmer shade in here is unique and special and the mattes are gorgeous and easy to blend. And this is just a wearable palette for every day. So the time Natasha Denona will come out with palettes that I don't find to be super wearable color stories, but this is not one of them. This is one of those palettes that you can slap on your eyes every day. The colors are beautiful, they're wearable, they look great on a multitude of skin tones, and I just think that it's special. I just think that it's fantastic. So that brings me, this is not a super long video. This is how easy it was for me to tell you guys what my favorite products of the year were. My number one most favorite, most used, most loved eye product of the entire year were the Super Shock, Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop. I am mostly amazed by the number of drugstore products that win my favorites this year. With the exception of a few things, it has been all drugstore products and these are no exception. They're $5 a shadow. For me, when I'm waking up at five o'clock in the morning and I don't wanna think about it and I don't wanna put together some sophisticated eye look, I mean, these are all in my everyday makeup drawer. Hair and everything, you can probably see my hair. I'm just like piling up, oops, they're falling. All my Super Shock shadows, I have millions of them in front of me because every day I wake up, I slap one of these on my eyelid. It gives me a beautiful shimmer. I put a tiny bit in the corners. It wakes my eyes up. I line them, I put mascara on and I'm like out the door. In these days of COVID, many of us are not wearing face makeup and we just want our eyes to like pop. We want to look awake. We want to look, you know, a little bit more youthful with a little bit of a glint to our eyes. And these shadows are just so good at achieving that. They're so simple. You can use them with your fingers. They stay on the whole day. They never crease. They're $5 and they're just absolutely stunning. So I wanna give first place for Most Love Makeup this year to the ColourPop shadows, which I wore probably 70% of the year, you know, during the day, during the week when I was getting ready for work. They're just easy go-to eyeshadows. So that's it guys. I think I got to everything for this year. My most used makeup products, it was kind of a simple year in makeup for me. I didn't try tons and tons and tons of products, but I can tell you the things that I mentioned today are all incredible products. And if you've never tried them, do so. I will link all of them for you below. I hope everybody is doing amazingly well. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you are new here. I would love to have you back. And I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.